You guys are gonna love him, man. He's been touring all over. You've seen him at the Enterprise. You've seen him here. Please give it up for Juan Garcia. Make some noise! Yeah, that was a long intro, huh? I hope you guys are excited about what he's gonna say after me. That's fucked up. Yeah, guys, hey, I'm gonna tell this joke. This next comedian's up, but the joke that I'm gonna tell, watch out for it. This is Kitty Sebastian, I love you, man. That shit was funny to me. Because it went right when I when you guys clapped, yeah, give it up. I thought I was next. Oh no, he's gonna do another joke. For me. I'm like, damn man, when am I up? I was getting all impatient, man. I'm just a little guy that funny things happen to people. Um, I think comedy happens naturally. You know, I play basketball. <laughs> Yes, people, I get it, right? He's little, he can't play. Well, yeah, it was true, man, but playing basketball gets me into weird situations, right? Like, I want to create a clothing company called An Juan, and not mocking that one An Juan, An Juan, right? Like, it's because that's how it happens when we play basketball. I got you, 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 and Juan, come on, man. <laughs> I'm not making any turnovers this time, bro. One time I was getting guarded by this older black man at Venice Beach. And there was a crowd, and you know black guys like to show off in a crowd no matter what it is. So he started clowning me, he's all, Amber Alert! Amber Alert! <laughs> Whose lost child is this? <laughs> I scored seven points, we won the game, and then I found my parents, people, so. <laughs> Yeah, man, if you guys are wondering what nationality I am, I'm Mexican, I know I look weird, let me explain what happened. That wasn't even a joke, relax. You guys are ahead of yourselves, man. Yeah, look, my mom's family, they look like those people from the movie Apocalypto. Yeah, my, my dad's family, they're light and blonde, so this is what you get after that mixture. But I get weird things said to me all the time in public, man. Like, I had this black lady come up to me, she all, Oh, what's your name, baby? <laughs> oh, my mom, how do you spell that? With a W? <laughs> well, I think my mom spelled it with a J. <laughs> One time I was inside a bus and this older black man, he goes, Hey, man, dude, what's up, man? It's your uncle from Hey man, my name's not Matthew, it's Juan. He's all, oh man, never mind, man. Let me get it up. <laughs> this has happened to me all my life, people. I swear, I'm not lying to you. That's why my comedy is called Shooting Comedy, because I'm not lying. I don't make it up. <laughs> One time I was in high school and these two girls were letting to each other. You know when the teacher catches it to, to embarrass the students, she'll read it out loud. So she read it out loud, right? And it said, oh, he's got beautiful eyes and a great smile. And we were all wondering who it was. But the black kid goes, give us a hint, man. At least give us a letter. Q. Oh, shit, Kwon, that's you, dog. <laughs> no, man, it's Kwon. <laughs> Honestly, people, I didn't think this stuff was going to be this fun, man. <laughs> I've exceeded my expectations. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for enjoying the game. Really, man? I just want to know if that laughter is going to get it, like, in the way of your laughter, people, because you know how that is. We all laugh at the same time, and that one laugh comes in. Ah! You got to work around that, man. See the challenges I get? She didn't laugh like that with anybody else. It happened to me, see? My life, that's the way that shit happens, man. I'm sorry. If we get any dead moments, it's just poetry, all right? Bear with me. Thank you, I'll take coughs too, sir. Any, night, any type of noise makes me feel confident in my talent. Man, save that laugh. You might need it when the dead moments come, you know? Know when to use them, and they're very useful. Nah, I just write what I see, man, and I hope that it's funny, you know? Have you guys ever noticed that people will only go eat at restaurants 
because there's an apostrophe S in the name of the restaurant. No, you never thought about it like that? For example, would you guys want to go eat at McDonald's? <laughs> man, I'm hungry, man. Let's go eat at Denny. <laughs> man, I'm craving pancakes from Norm. <laughs> hey, dog, let's go eat Tommy. <laughs> Does that sound right, man? Right? Let's go eat Tommy, dog. Nah, I'm cool, man. I'd rather eat Wendy. There you go, people. I'll be selling shirts. Guys, have you guys noticed that women only like men in uniform only if his last name is on it? Even if it's an inmate, it doesn't matter. Women love cops, firefighters, lieutenants, soldiers. But Juan the Mechanic? Fuck him. I'm only a hero if they need breaks, man. See, guys, you guys get your feelings hurt when you don't realize what type of chick you're dating. The way you find out is by asking her to play her favorite song on the first date. And that's it. From then on, you make your choice. If her favorite song is, I'm a material girl, she's high maintenance, get your shit together, she wants everything, right? If her favorite song is, I'm bossy, fuck that. I don't want anybody trying to run my life. If her favorite song is, my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Notice, guys, how only the women laughed at that joke, right? Because only girls know what that song's about. So you guys think it's about a girl who makes milkshake at home? <laughs> and takes it to the yard, and all the guys are there drinking it. Oh, she made milkshake for all of us, that's cool. She's so nice. She's a keeper. But behind that message is the real deal, people, really. It's not about that. It's about a girl who has an orgasm, because she looks like a blender. That's her milkshake. Yeah! And this is her yard. All I'm saying, if you're dating her, you have to wait your turn. I feel the heartbreak, guys, but I taught you a lesson then, man. You gotta de decipher these codes. They're there. And, hey, man, anybody who likes Pitbull, man, kill yourself, please, kill yourself. This guy, everything's a fucking party to this guy, man. Does this guy ever stop? Shot, 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 shot. Really, just stop, man. Really. And women act like he's handsome. Really, ladies? He looks like a monkey with leukemia. I'm sorry. Thank you, sir. You have the weird laugh. Of, you're the guy version of her, huh? I see what's going on. No, I can't be black, though, no matter what I do. Me Mexican guys, you can't be black. The biggest example is the lineup. No, really, the lineup, because you know how when black guys get the lineup, you can't tell what part they cut off? It just looks good for a long time. Mexicans, it's different, man, because when we get the lineup, it only looks good on Monday. Everybody's jogging like, oh shit, why look at that Yankee? What's up, dog? But then on Wednesday, the part they cut off girls back. And people think it's Ash Wednesday. Hey, dog, you got some shit right here, man. I didn't know it was Holy Week. What am I missing here? Yeah, people, man. I, and I gotta be careful though when I cut my hair too short because I always attract lesbians that won't be men. That wasn't a joke either, people. Remember, you don't know yourselves. Yeah, it's weird, man, because I don't even know what to do with normal women, you know? What am I supposed to do with a girl that looks like me? Trace secrets? It's weird. And people get sensitive when you start talking about gay people. I get it, people. Look, I don't care if they get married. I don't care if they go to the army. Those are two things that I don't want to do. And that power to them, right? Gay people stole the rainbow. 
See, because you guys don't think about it. What year did it become gay? Exactly, no one knows. It just became gay secretly, right? When I was in kindergarten and I was drawing it, the teacher was not looking at me going, Oh my God, look, I think Juan's gay. They start off so young, huh? It stops raining. You can't even appreciate it like before. Mom, a rainbow, a beautiful day. I was like, oh shit, gay day, man. Let's go back, let's go back inside. I might want to get a pedicure. You know, one thing I realized is that I'm not gay. No, really, that's why I talk about it, because I work with a gay guy. Really, and they test you on the date. Hey, guys, if you don't know you work with a gay guy, it's always the guy that tells you your zippers now. I used to work with this Mexican gay guy named Ubaldo. He would always ask me questions about my sexuality, see where I stood. Be like, JJ. If you were with a guy, who would it be? I mean, I don't want to be with a guy. So I just answer and nothing's gonna happen. I plead the fifth, man. And then they asked our coworker Todd the same question. Todd, if you were with a guy, who would it be? He's all easy, David Beck. You see my point here? Todd already knew before they asked him the question. That's my point. I'm not gay. Because I never thought about it like that, you know? But you have to be careful, though, man. Because your fat friends and your gay friends think alike. You wonder how? Okay, let me explain how. You ever eat with your fat friend and they invent something like ranch and ketchup? And they know you've never tried it? They always try to persuade you to try it, right? Try it! Try it! What are you afraid you're gonna like it? <laughs> nah, man, I just don't think ranch and ketchup. Let's see. <laughs> right? People don't fall under the pressure, man. <laughs> One thing I learned in life, man, is that if you think you're ugly, you probably are. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it anymore, I'm sorry. <laughs> You know, exactly, it's too late, you can't go back. But the secret to life is that you came from a good feeling, people have sex. So you're supposed to feel good about your life because you came from a good feeling. Is that too deep right here or what? No, honestly, my theory is whatever parent does most of the work, you're going to look like more than the other. I know my dad did most of the breathing because I got his nose. <laughs> the length was five minutes and three seconds because I'm five three. <laughs> and they had their eyes closed. I can't see shit without my glasses. 